Hey, Miles Beckler here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, we are going to set up our first Facebook pay-per-click ad campaign inside of the Power Editor. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Now to get to the Power Editor, you're gonna need to go to your Facebook account, click on the Ads Manager on the left, and once you get to the Ads Manager, click the little three lines up here, it might show up in frequently used or it's under all tools and create and manage. That's how you access the power editor. Um, again, if you're thinking, well, can't I use the ad manager or just boost my posts, go back to the last video uh, where I talk about you absolutely don't want to boost posts and you have to use the power editor because it gives us the most control because we need to get our audience targeting dialed. Once you're in here, you're going to click on the create campaign and just a quick heads up on the power editor. Uh, Facebook is notorious for updating and for kind of tweaking and changing things, changing layouts, changing the names of things. They're one of the fastest companies to iterate and to push out new development. Uh, what this means for you is that everything's gonna constantly look different. So if you're logging into your account and it looks different than mine, you might have an older version, I might be working on a newer version, or vice versa, know that the core of what we're going to do is the exact same whether yours looks the same or not. So what we need to know about setting up our campaign, right? You can see on the left here, there's three different kind of levels to creating an ad in Facebook pay-per-click marketing. We're gonna go through all, through of these, all three of these, but we wanna start here on the campaign objective. First thing you notice is there's three columns of possibilities of what we can work with, and it's asking us what our marketing objective is. Always ignore this one, right? If you're watching my channel, you've already built a funnel, and what we're trying to do is drive people into the funnel to drive conversions. There's really only two of these that you need to even consider using. The first one, and probably the simplest one to get going, is this top one send people to a destination on or off Facebook. This is like cost per click marketing. We're gonna put a link up in a Facebook post and when people click on that link, they'll go visit the top of our funnel. And at that moment when they click, we pay Facebook for every click that we make. The other one, if you've been running that kind of a campaign for a while, or if you're looking for the advanced strategy, it's this increase conversions on your website option. Now what this option is gonna do based on the website conversion is it allows you to say, hey Facebook, I want you to bring me all of the email subscribers you can for $1.50 a piece. And then Facebook goes out and looks at the data you have in your tracking pixel and it compares it to the users that it has on Facebook and it tries to bring you more people who are very likely to become leads. You can do the same with customers and say, hey Facebook, I'm willing to pay you $15 for every customer that you bring me. You need to have a lot of data inside of your Facebook pixel for this to work. And Facebook goes out and cross references and says, okay, your customers have this kind of a profile on Facebook. Let me go bring you more people like that and the these are these kinds of campaigns are easier to scale but if you're new if you don't have a lot of Facebook tracking data on your pixel if your pixel is not seasoned or mature you're gonna want to just start here on the link clicks right so let's start with the link click campaign now the next thing you need to do down here is to name your campaign so if you're running multiple websites or you're running multiple funnels within one website, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and note that here. I like to keep this description really short, and what I do is I'll use the platform first, so I'll put MB for milesbeckler.com, and then I put a dash, and I put the type of campaign it is. Now, so I've got MB that notes my platform, I've got the CPC, and if I want, I can even enter the date, and today is the 25th, uh, 2016. So it's November 25th, 2016. So now I've got all of my identifying information at the campaign level so I can quickly see which campaign this is. And as I make newer campaigns, I can, I can kind of see the evolution of them based on the date. Um, why we have CPC in here is after I get a lot of data to my pixel, I might want to go create a conversion based campaign. And then I would have, I would put, um, OCPM is optimized 
cost per thousand is what that stands for or I could put um, WC for website conversions and then when I'm in my reporting tab which we'll get to later down the line what you're able to do is you're able to look at okay how did my cost per click campaign do against my website conversion campaign and you can make an educated decision on which one is bringing you a better value for your marketing investment which one brings you customers for cheaper because that's ultimately what we're looking for I don't really care about the cost per click I care about my cost per customer and I compare that to how much is that customer worth to me so there's really only two two metrics that we're looking at so this is it I click continue here and I have now set up my first campaign you can see here on the left that it's got a little check mark and it brings me down to the ad set level I'm going to go into this ad set level in the next video so I'm going to move myself over here real quick and you can see I've got saved a draft or closed without saving I'm going to save this to draft right now and it is wanting me to save it as a draft which I will do it's going to take a few seconds and that's really it so at this point I've got it started when we jump back in we're gonna to go to the ad set level you can kind of go through this process one at a time but I'm trying to keep these videos short and to the point six minutes in again I'm Miles Beckler I do thank you very much for your time and I look forward to showing you all the ins and outs of Facebook pay-per-click marketing here inside of the power editor leave me a comment if you have any questions give me a thumbs up on the video here on YouTube if you enjoyed this and be sure to subscribe so you get that next video and you can see how to get the ad set set up when that one comes live. Thank you and have a great day.